just wanted to talk briefly about the progression Johann Sebastian Bach wrote in his famous air on a G string. I'll put a link to a string ensemble arrangement that I've been listening to and just taking the basics of the bass line progression from. I'm not trying to play all the parts or the melody verbatim, just really looking at the bass motion and what it suggests. So we're gonna be in the slightly unusual key of, you can either say D flat major or C sharp major. I think I'm thinking of it as D flat. But really we're gonna look at just the sound of the progression and the stepwise motion. The bass is coming right down the scale in an approach. And as soon as we land somewhere, it destabilizes. So we're gonna have a tenth. I'll give you the basic intervals first here. This is nine and 10 on string six and three. We could stay. This would be eight and 10. Now six and six with, I'm reaching up above. I like the above one string thing, if you can reach it. This was a D flat chord with the fifth in the bass. Coming down to G flat, the four. approach to five. Here's five. This is the fourth and fifth fret of the sixth and third strings. So, so far we've had, I'm just going to call out fret numbers. Nine, ten, eight, eight, six, six, four, and six, some of that action six four six five two and three this is six string and second string that line is straight from Bach so three and four going to three and two on the second string. If you can reach out and get that suspension right there. Then A flat major. This is four and five. And then it becomes unstable. Two and three going down to one. Now the bass is gonna continue down to F, but we're gonna go up instead for register purposes. So I'm reaching out to get the fourth fret of the second string. And here we get a little minor seven flat five action. So F minor, flat five, shuttling back and forth. Bass drops down a whole step. This is six, nine, and nine on the fifth, fourth, and second strings. We got this lovely fifth fret, eighth fret, ninth fret. time for you.
Then we have this little run. 9-8-8-7-9-7 and this becomes part of uh, E flat minor. Now this beautiful descending line. So from 6 and 7 this little jockeying back and forth between one seven and then we get nine and eight on the sixth and third strings. Nine and eight with ten and eleven above. Now first inversion flat chord and with this inner line eight and six with the eight and six on the fourth string Major action. Root in the bass, four and five, six, three and four, reaching out to the flat seven at the seventh fret. So three, four, seven, and now they contrary motion coalesce into four and six. So we had. D flat major, four and six, then C at the third fret and F at the sixth fret, then playing that melody coming down to B flat minor here, six and six on the sixth and third strings. Six and six, four, six, and this is first inversion E flat chord. Three and six, three and four, three, six on the third string, and now sus. A flat sus, four and six to five, and then to the four chord, which is four and five going down to three. E flat seven, six and three with the flat seven up here on the sixth fret of the third string little resolution. Six and three, reaching out. Four and three on the fifth and third strings. Fifth fret in between on the fourth string. And the voices split contrary motion to the third and sixth fret. That would take us through one little cycle.
So just a little overview. Hope there's some nuggets in there that you can become interested in and it might help you on your musical journey. Thanks for your kind attention. If you're able to leave a comment or suggestion down below of things that you'd like to see lessons on, please do. If you're able to share these videos with people that might be interested, I would very much appreciate it. I appreciate you watching this far and I wish you a very good day.